Hello there. You must have a red velvet rope policy. What is a red velvet rope? Think of VIP. Think of it as only certain people can get through your rope. Why is that important? Because you don't want to work with everyone. You really must create one and the tighter it is, the more you clarify who it is that you really, really, really want to work with, the more joy you will have, the more joy they will have, and you'll be doing more of what you're meant to do. Hi, if we have not met before, my name is John Ruman. I'm international business coach, consultant, and corporate trainer, and my passion is that I believe every human on this planet is destined for greatness. And my mission on this planet is to help humanity achieve the greatness that is your birthright. So part of that is protecting you, not allowing people who you should not be hanging out with, you should not be working with, you should not have them as clients, they should not be in your personal, this rope that, that you use to protect your business. But this also pertains to your life. A lot of women especially give, 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 and give. And what happens is it basically takes them down over time and they feel more and more disempowered. And one of the ways that you can slowly claim and reclaim this power is to, first of all, establish this red velvet rope policy, which... It could be on a personal basis that you don't do anything you don't want to. By the way, you don't have to do anything you don't want to. You can make a choice and do something else. That That is the differentiation. So if you don't want to, you don't have to do it. Some things, unfortunately, we may not want to do, but we are forced to do. Um, I'll give an example, taxes. I personally, while I understand and respect tax dollars and all that, I see a lot of them being wasted and I'm not a huge fan of spending the amount I spend in taxes. So it's not one of the things that's my favorite thing to do. But I literally go to jail if I don't pay them or there's other things like that. So you have to understand the rules. And there are rules, like I, I'm a U.S. citizen, I can leave the U.S., and go join another country that doesn't have taxes. It's an option, but there's also really beautiful roads in the U.S. There are some benefits, right? And some of my favorite people on this planet are from that gorgeous country. That's not the only point, though. Here's the big point. The big point is a lot of people live their life as if they have no choice and no say in the matter. That is a something that you are allowing that is not the truth. If anything you have more power than you know you have even those that that understand they have power don't truly understand their real like underlying value which is as i mentioned when i started the greatness that everyone has within them when you really begin to feel that you're unstoppable people will look at you and say huh they're going places and it doesn't always mean you're impacting a thousand ten thousand a million billion people but it does mean that you are living a life in total congruency with you and you don't need to be compelled to be motivated you are very naturally doing that and the soonest way to do that is one to say no to things you're saying yes to now that you don't want to do if you're doing stuff you don't so so, so things that get asked to you now most people who have this habit, and they may be excellent at doing what they're being asked to do, but they're not good at communicating what's happening, and they're overloaded. So they need to learn to say no. And then unloading what you already have. A lot of people already have a weight on their shoulders. I spoke to a woman earlier who has a tremendous weight on her shoulders. She's wonderful. She's a blessing to this world. But until she gets that weight off her shoulders, she can't be the blessing. She's weighed down by her past choices, which is okay. She she is learn she she's becoming empowered 
finding ways to say no as well as to re-empower herself as she says no and then becoming more aligned with what she's meant to do so we're all on this path together none of us are ahead of each other we're all on the path so do not ever think you're better or worse than others we're all amazing human beings living out this really cool experience and we're all here to grow and learn all of us have value for everyone you should be the constant student there's nothing wrong with teaching there's nothing wrong with being ab abundantly confident with what you have but always have an empty cup even when you are confident in what you have hope that makes sense so <clears throat> it's important that when you establish this red velvet rope that you stick with it you let people know about it so here's what's cool when you actually do it you're going to improve the friends you hang out with you're going to improve the business people you hang out with you're going to upgrade your circle i would always encourage you to continually upgrade your circle but but this is a forced upgrading of your circle when you do this you're going to create guidelines as to what people need to do to be let in your circle so if you need to upgrade the people you're with all you have to do is tighten this red velvet rope there's a great book uh, the author's name is michael port p-o-r-t and uh do i have it let me see if i can find it here while i'm talking but the um you should always be feeding your mind fyi and if you're not the book is actually for coaches and all that but you don't have to be a coach you don't even have to be in the service profession it's called book yourself solid and the first thing he actually teaches and actually helps you implement in the book very powerfully is the red velvet rope policy so book yourself solid by michael port yeah p-o-r-t so create it embrace it make it the normal don't be afraid to reuse it upgrade it and tighten it i for example went through this uh, i'm always about every six months or so i up and do like tweaks to will both tighten the red velvet rope build more clarity about certain things in my life and business and i actually found something i realized it's a passion of mine that i'll begin instituting with new clients i work with so it's something that i will require of them if they are to get inside at least on one-on-one -on -one sessions so it's nice to come up with that clarity and find what for me is really important that is a strong value trait that i want this other future people i work with to also benefit and, and understand the benefits of and if they don't jive with that that's cool they're just not a good fit that doesn't mean they're bad doesn't mean i'm great just means we don't fit with each other there's lots of amazing people who aren't married to each other and would never be a good fit so make sure you take time for you you are worth it the sooner you do this, the more empowered you will feel. If you do not know what to do to let go of the trauma, of the things you're holding on to, if you're not sure the steps to take, all those kind of little things and you need someone that will support you, I would be more than happy to support you on a coaching basis, but I do need to let you know you need to fit within the rope. And it's not because I don't love people, but I only want to work with people who all they can do is talk about how amazing they I am and I can only talk about how amazing it is to work with them. So it's not an anti, it's just trying to make a win-win of the situation. So if that's something you need help with, I love to empower people. I love to make them feel awesome, but it's important that we're on the same page on a few things. Anyway, um, but I want you to have that for yourself. And if you need someone to support and encourage you, reach out to me there's a lot of other great coaches out there just find someone that you like who is someone who you can really get along with you kind of feel like this is something that by working with them you can grow 
and that you genuinely are committed to growing in the relationship. So it does not have to be, John. I'm great at what I do, but again, I'm not a fit for everyone. Those who I'm a fit for, I'm amazing and excellent, and those who I'm not a fit for, I'm not a fit for. Same thing should be in your business. So understand that you don't want every client, you don't want every friend, you don't want every relationship. You need to filter what is most important to you, and the sooner you do this, the sooner you'll feel lighter, you'll feel empowered, and your actions will change because you will know that you control your destiny. You're no longer a victim of these other people, of your past choices. Because you're making the decision to cut them off out of your life, these people that you're deciding to let go, that is super empowering and that will help you to make decisions where you're not making them now. So any questions you have, shoot me a message. Um, I'd love to hear your feedback and I would love to support you in any way that I can along this journey. If you have any other topics that you would like me to talk about or questions you have, I would be more than happy to answer them in this private group. So have a blessed rest of your night. Thank you so much.